Today I'm cutting in half the shoes that guarantee to make a kid run faster and jump higher, the PF Flyers, and comparing them to the only other shoe in the Sandlot, the Converse Chuck Taylors. So the information on these shoes are the brand is PF Flyers, the model is the Center High, but the Sandlot edition. So that means it's all black basically with this little tag here. And these retail for $60 and they're made in Indonesia. And we're going to be comparing them to the Chuck 70s, which are the $85 more true to the original higher quality versions of Chucks and the classic Chucks that you can buy for $55. These are the most commonly seen ones. And I did a video comparing these two, so I'll put a link in the little card here and in the description if you just wanna see how these two compare. But now let's start getting to the comparison. Okay, first let's start with the tongue. Um, fortunately, I've already got these cut in half. So let's cut the tongue on the PF Flyers. Okay, starting with the PF Flyers tongue, it's a double ply canvas with binding around the edge. The classic Chucks is also a double ply, but it's got a surged edge. Um, they're both around the same thickness, about 1.1 millimeter. Um, the Chuck 70s on the other, other hand, it's got a surged edge, but these two layers aren't glued together. So not a whole lot of difference. They all are about 1.1 millimeter. So next let's get to the counter and the upper material. Okay, starting with the counters on all three of these. They're basically the same type of counter. It's a rubber counter with a canvas um, cover. The only difference is in the Chuck 70s, it's a little bit of a high rise counter that goes up higher in your Achilles tendon area. And I think that helps keep the structure of the shoe from collapsing. Um, as for the upper material, starting with the PF Flyers, it's the same material as in the tongue. It's a 1.1 millimeter double ply canvas with the binding around the top and then to the cheaper classic Converse. So this is a single ply canvas with a thinner canvas liner. The outer layer is about 6.6 millimeters thick. The inner is about 0.4 millimeters. And then to the Chuck 70s, this one is a double ply canvas on the outer, about 1.1 millimeters, very similar to the PF Flyers, but it also has a liner similar to the classic Chucks of about 1.4 about 0.4 millimeters. Another thing I noticed while cutting this part is the PF Flyers has an extra layer of canvas that is uh, adds a little structure to the eyelets. Um, the other two just have a single layer that the eyelets go through. Now that'll add a little bit of strength, durability, and sometimes on Converse that I've had in the past, the canvas stretches and tears at the eyelets if I tie them really tight a lot of times. And having an extra layer is gonna help prevent that. So I think it's worth noting. Now let's talk about the inserts in each one and the PF flyer just comes out but we're still going to cut it in half so you can see kind of a cross section of it because it is an interesting insole. It's got a little spot right here that is the posture foundation ridge wedge. I think, I don't really know exactly what they're referring to but it's, on one side you've got an extra layer of memory foam that isn't on the other side. It's kind of weird so I'm going to hurry and cut this in half. Okay, memory foam on the PF Flyers. So this one is kind of strange, and like I said earlier, there's a wedge of memory foam that starts at the heel and tapers off towards the ball of your foot, but it's only on one side. It's only on the inner um, side of the back half of your foot. So I wonder if that's to help uh, prevent what most people have is like the your ankles roll in. So I wonder if that's like an older idea that a PF Flyer had 50 years ago to help prevent that and they just kept it because it's kind of a classic shoe. I don't really know. Let me know what you guys think. Do you know what that's for? Um, compared to the classic Chucks, so this one isn't removable, it's glued in, but there's a layer of canvas, a layer of foam, and then a wedge of air-infused rubber for the heel that tapers off towards the ball of your foot. And that's basically the same in the Chuck 70s, but it's just removable. So now, 
to the next layer down on the PF flyers, it looks like there's a really thin layer of like pour on in there. So let's get that torn out. So the next layer down that I pulled out is just a really thin layer of air infused rubber. So re in all reality, it's basically the same insert on all three shoes. The PF Flyers just happens to have this glued down and it's thinner, but essentially they're all a layer of canvas, a layer of foam, and then a wedge of air infused rubber. Now let's tear the, or cut the rest of this in half all the way through and see what else is inside. Okay, we got the PF flyers cut in half and it wasn't exactly what I expected. So starting with this knit insole, usually we'd see kind of a fiberboard insole. On the regular chucks, it's a really, really thin, barely existing fiberboard. On the chuck 70s, it's a pour-on insole. Then from there it goes to the outsole. But on this one, it's got this knit insole and then a layer of rubber that's glued to the outsole. So kind of similar to how the vans are built. Cause the vans have the outsole with a layer of rubber above that. So some differences in thicknesses here and there, but overall it's gonna perform about the same and it's probably gonna last about the same. Slightly softer on the PF flyers. So it might wear out a little bit faster. And then if we look at the binding tape on these three shoes, it looks like the PF flyers is just a solid binding tape with a toe guard around the top, around the toe. <laughs> the regular chucks is, it looks like one or two layers of binding tape. It's not as thick as the PF flyers. And then the chuck 70s has two layers and one layer is reinforced with some fibers on the inside. The most outer layers, the reinforced one. You can kind of see that in the texture here and a little cross section. And then the last thing, and probably the, the thing I noticed most right off the bat was the PF flyers are actually a little bit wider of a shoe in the toe box. A lot of people don't like how narrow Converse are, including me, they kind of squish my toes, but the, the PF Flyers are a little bit wider. So overall, I don't think you can go wrong with any of these. The price difference isn't that big of a deal, but quality wise, Chuck 70s are better than the PF Flyers, but the PF Flyers are better than the regular Chucks. So I think it really just comes down to what look you're wanting, because if you want the classic Sandlot PF Flyers, Get the PF Flyers. If you like the old school Converse with a little bit higher materials, a little higher price, get the Chuck 70s. But if you just occasionally want the look of the Converse and you're not gonna wear them very often or you just want a cheap beat around shoe, the regular Chucks are fine too. So that's what's inside basically all the shoes in the Sandlot show. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Which one do you think's the, the best quality? Which one would you rather have out of the three? and uh, let me know what else you guys wanna see. We've got the Palladium shoes. We've got the white sneaker series with the Stan Smiths coming up. And uh, we've got a couple other sponsors from a lot of the requested uh, white sneakers. So those will be coming soon. And I got the vault vans, the higher quality versions. So we got some cool stuff coming. So if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing and like and comment and do all the other stuff that the algorithm demands of viewers because it makes a huge difference. Thanks for everything. See ya.